Brian Cranston has experienced his fair share of both comedy and drama in his personal life. The drama came during his first marriage, which sadly didn't last very long. But the comedy came later after he met his current wife, Robin Dearden, to whom he's been married for more than 30 years. Sit tight, juicers, because in this video, we're going to tell you everything we know about Brian and Robin's very unique and thrilling love story and how they've beaten all the odds against them. Brian Cranston married his first wife, writer Mickey Middleton, in 1977. While not much is known about her or their marriage, we do know that they divorced after five years together. The actor explained that both he and Mickey realized that they wanted different things in life and they simply weren't in love with each other anymore, so they decided to very amicably part ways. When Brian first met Robin Dearden in 1986, it was far from the typical love at first sight story. In fact, he technically held her hostage during their first encounter. The pair worked together on the set of the CBS series Airwolf. Well, I met my wife like everyone meets their spouse. Uh, we were actors on a television show. Yeah. yeah. Cranston was guest starring on the show as a jilted lover who hijacks a sorority reunion cruise, and Dearden played one of the trapped sorority sisters. He actually had a gun to my head, Dearden shared of their first meeting. Brian also shared, It was 30 years ago that we met on that terrible TV show. It changed both of our lives. Despite the unusual hostage situation, they were immediately attracted to each other. However, both Brian and Robin were dating other people when they met. Dearden explained, He had a girlfriend, and I had a boyfriend at the time. But I thought that he was the funniest man that I had ever met. I said, He's kind of cute. He's got a gun. But Cranston says it was the fact that they were both unavailable at the time of their meeting that helped their relationship last in the long run. Robin thought that if they had both been single and started dating each other right away, the relationship wouldn't have lasted. Brian added, but because she had a boyfriend and I had a girlfriend, we were able to flirt without the heavy sexual tension. But there was sexual tension, let me tell you. It was only a year later that they bumped into each other and that's when sparks really started to fly. Cranston explained that, as actors do, when they saw each other, they greeted one another with a kiss. But while most kisses between friends are quick and friendly, Cranston and Dearden's kiss lingered a bit. Yeah. The actor shared, We were both like, wait, that was too long, wasn't it? And that is really what happened. The couple soon started dating, and very quickly, they realized that what they had was the real deal. Brian and Robin had been dating for around two and a half years when he finally decided to take things to the next level. He knew he wanted to be with her for the rest of his life, so he started to plan the proposal. He was so in love with her that he was worried that he would burst into tears if he had to propose to her face. The actor confessed, So I had to figure out a way where she was not looking at me when I was asking her to marry me. So he decided that he was going to pop the question to Robin while they were in the bath together. Piece of cake, no problem. Inside, of course, I'm like... <laughs> Brian explained, Problem was, where do I put the engagement ring? In the end, there was only one place he could hide the ring, on his baby toe. He set up romantic candles and music and had her sitting with her back to him while he washed her hair. After he asked her to marry him, he pulled his foot out of the water to reveal the sparkly diamond ring on his toe. The actor shared, She had to take it off my foot. Robin was so surprised by the way he proposed that she laughed and said, What the hell is this? Which, of course, was then followed by a big yes. The couple got married in 1989. Naturally, Brian maintained his element of surprise with a little prank when it was time for him to share his vows. Cranston said, When it was my turn, I took out a single piece of paper, which unfurled three feet to the ground. I'd planned the gag to keep things from getting too serious and to help everyone relax. The newlywed couple chose to go on a five-week tour of Europe for their honeymoon. They visited some incredible countries on their trip, but the language barrier led to one slightly embarrassing moment for the newlyweds. Well, the last thing she, she says is, come on, it would be a good time. Come on. The couple booked a rail journey from Switzerland to Italy on the advice of a travel agent who told them that the train passed through three pitch black tunnels. Brian explained, the, the travel agent said, by the way, the third tunnel is 50 minutes long. 
it's tradition for honeymooners to take advantage of that time. Not wanting to miss out, Cranston and Dearden decided to take part in the naughty tradition. The trouble was they only had 15 minutes, not 50. While the couple was in a very intimate situation, Brian realized that the pitch black tunnel was coming to an end quicker than they had expected. Within seconds, wham, we were out in broad daylight. And uh, it was uh, troubling. The shocked and naked couple were in plain view of their fellow passengers, and while the men nearby seemed to get a real kick out of it, one older woman who was sitting with her horrified grandchildren was clearly not very amused. In 1993, the couple was overjoyed to welcome a baby girl into their lives that they named Taylor. She's gone on to follow in her parents' footsteps and also became an actress. In fact, both Taylor and Robin were featured in an episode of Breaking Bad along with Brian. As Brian's career took off with the success of Breaking Bad and other of his famous roles, his wife realized that he sometimes pushes himself a little too hard when he takes on darker characters. Robin shared, it takes him longer to shut that off than it does to get out of character. It usurps his energy, overwhelms him. She added that sometimes when he comes home after doing a particularly emotional or draining scene at work, he's not in the mood to connect and spend time with her. Uh, but that, that's one of the things, it's, it's emotional risk, I think, is, is the most dangerous that we face. She confessed that it's actually been the source of a few arguments behind closed doors. However, she explained that she does her best not to take these things too personally anymore. Robin understands that the reason Brian pushes himself so hard is that it took quite a long time for his career to take off, and he doesn't ever want to let down anyone he's working with. And so that's why I look for different projects, diff things that take me to more challenging areas, um, difficult or easy or fun, simple, sometimes incredibly complex like Breaking Bad. Ryan also admitted that one of the toughest parts of becoming so famous is the fact that he's lost his anonymity. Before he became a recognizable star, Cranston used to regularly sit in coffee shops so that he could watch people to stay for a role. He used to enjoy people watching, whether it was at a doctor's office, an airport, or just sitting on a park bench. Now he can't go anywhere without being spotted by fans. When the observer becomes the observed, you can't observe anymore. Nowadays, he has to keep a safe distance when he observes strangers, something he and his wife do all the time. Cranston is just as observant when it comes to his wife. It's the small things that keep him spent with her, like the way she still gets giddy when she sees a firefly, he shared. In order to help him find balance in his life, Brian has been seeing a therapist regularly since he was in his 30s. He admitted that while he was growing up, people who used to go for therapy were seen as crazy, and it prevented them from getting the help they needed because of how the world perceived them. But he wasn't going to let that stigma stop him from seeing a therapist help him with whatever he was going through. The actor also shared that the couple's therapy has also done wonders for his marriage to Robin. He explained, It really helped us. I look at it as a tune-up. If your car starts running rough, are you going to open the hood and fix it? According to Cranston, relationship problems can end up festering like a sore when left untreated, which is why he and Dearden have a strict policy when it comes to their joint sessions. If either of us feels like going, the other can't object. I suggested this system to her before we were even married, and it's worked for us over the years. One thing that you will find interesting is that Brian doesn't believe in soulmates. Interesting, right? While their love story isn't one of those swooning love at first sight kind of romances, it's pretty clear that they are meant to be together. I don't believe there's just one person for you. And quite frankly, love among adults is conditional. We're in love right now. Oops, you killed someone? Okay, wait a minute. That's kind of a problem for me. He's aware that anything could happen down the line, but when he pictures his future, he doesn't see anyone but Robin Dearden in it. But Cranston revealed that he's still completely in awe of his wife. I have been very fortunate. I married a woman who was a better person than I am. It's not difficult for me to look at her with admiration and love and say, boy, I got lucky. While his career is still booming, the one thing Brian is looking forward to is the rest of his life with his wife and their daughter, Taylor. I have gratitude for the Academy for this lovely honor. To the love of my family, I love you guys. I want to continue to take in experiences, and that includes seeing my daughter grow up, maybe have the luxury of being a grandfather, to grow old with my wife and see how that changes us. 
We can't help but admire what an amazing family man Brian is and how he's prioritized his marriage and being a father throughout his fame. It's clear both he and Robin have a very special relationship and care deeply for one another. It's stories like this that reignite our belief in finding true love and happiness in life.